Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 514. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 514 to 515. In this video, we want to see how to highlight with conditional formatting duplicate values, and we're going to see how to do it in 2007, and then earlier versions, and then also how to do the whole row given a certain uh, value from a certain cell. 2007 and 2010 versions, totally easy. I have assigned seatings and names, and there are some duplicates. We have a complicated uh, seat assignment uh, selection process, and we uh, we do get duplicates sometimes. So we want to highlight that. I'm going to click in that cell, Control Shift Down Arrow, simply go up to Conditional Formatting, Home Ribbon, Styles Group, Conditional Formatting, Highlight Cell Rule and that's off the screen so I'm going to have to scoot this in see it I'm going to scoot this way in here like this and then up All right, styles conditional formatting highlight cell rules and then boom down at the bottom duplicate values and uh, just like that and you have some options over the uh, color you want whatever color and then click OK and then uh, sure enough we have just like that no form no logical true false formulas a2 has a problem that seat f9 that seat has a problem now let's see how to do it in earlier versions it was a lot harder that is a, one of the many great things in 2007 <clears throat> control shift down arrow and i'm going to use the keyboard shortcut alt O D Alt O D, and then I'm going to say New Rule. Click on Formula. In earlier versions, you have to uh, Alt O D works, and then it's the first text box, and you say Formula is, and we have to create a formula. Hey, what is the logic here anyway? This little algorithm here went through the whole list, and any time it found more uh, two or more or greater than one A two, then it's a ding 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 ding, and it added the color. So we have to simulate that. Well, how do you count items with count if? So I'm going to say equals count to if. Open parentheses, and I'm going to get the whole range by clicking right here. Control Shift Down Arrow, and then it by default is locked. I'm going to scroll back up because we're going to need to get back here. Now, what are we counting? The actual cell. Now, conditional formatting, when you put a formula here, it's as if it gets put here, 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 and copied down. So we just simply take the actual cell that the formula is being stored in in memory and it's got to be a relative cell reference so it goes move, moves down as you uh, as, as it copies in memory that looks through the whole list and ding ding true uh, or in this case it's just giving us the account of one or two or three so what do we have to do we have to say greater than one right so anytime the count is greater than one then it will say true, and this will trigger the format. And I'm going to do some formatting, whatever it may be. Click OK, click OK, click OK. So and then that does it with a true-false formula. The other thing is sometimes you want to highlight the whole range. So I'm going to control highlight those, control shift down arrow. I'll highlight up here. Now, when you're doing a range like this, the formula is built in from the point of view of the active cell. So I Alt O D. New rule, same thing, equals count if, open parentheses, but uh, the range for counting is going to be that same range, control shift down arrow. However, when we comma the criteria, the second argument here, it is going to be this. But look at this. Since we started here, we need to copy the formula over locked and have it locked on this cell reference right here. If we didn't lock it, then when we moved it over, this dancing ants would be here. So we have to lock it going to the side. And with my cursor touching that, I'm going to hit the F4 key. Uh, two times locked in front of the column reference, but not the row, because when you go down, you need to move to the next seat. Close parentheses, greater than one, and then some sort of formatting. Now, if you use red like that, which I do a lot, I always go light font color. Click OK, and that will do the whole row. So the whole row. So there you have it. Uh, totally awesome. In 2007, we have uh, duplicates. Formula, true, false, and earlier versions. Ah, but in both versions, at least I don't know how to do this row with built-in features. So uh, the formula does come in handy sometime. All right, see you next trick.